All right, guys. So let's check out what we got. And then we can tell you what we're gonna do. We got, boom, some chicken thigh fillets. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna leave it like it is for now. There's a pond right across the road from my house that has a few catfish in it. Just a few. When I say a few, I mean this, there may be some catfish in there. There's a lot of people that take them out of there. They go as far as putting jugs, lemons, and everything else to get the catfish out of there to eat them. Um, there's more turtles than there are catfish. Hopefully we don't hook up with one of those turtles. But we're going to take this chicken over there and before we take this to the lake because the big game plan is to soak this stuff in garlic, take it to the lake and stack it straight up against some awesome cut bait like shad and bluegill and see if it can hold up to it, beat it. Um, who knows? Well, that's what we're going to test that. But first we're going to go over here and try to catch a catfish and get our confidence up a little bit with this chicken. So let's head over to the pond. So we're over at the pond. I've got a Sandy Cooper rig, I've got the pole float rig, and I've got just a regular Carolina rig. We're going to throw all three of those out. I've got about two hours to try to catch a catfish. Hopefully in two hours to catch a catfish. Not a turtle. And get some confidence in this bait. Get it to the lake and test it out. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm not sure at all. I've never fished with just chicken before. I'm not sure how to hook this stuff. So in the comments, before we get to the lake, when it gets serious and gets real, if you guys know how to hook this chicken the best way, let me know so I get out there on the lake and have a really good chance. Now it has this like tough gristle stuff, that's what I'm going to try to hook it through and so I can get it to try to stay on there better. But I'm just going to wrap it a couple times and see what I can do with that. So there's kind of what I got. I'm gonna throw it out there. This is the first one is just Carolina rig. I'm gonna throw Carolina rig, Sandy Cooper rig, and then pole float on the end because the wind's blowing that way. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We got all three poles out. Hopefully, again, we don't catch a turtle, we catch catfish, and then we have some confidence going in. After we get this video done, regardless if we catch a fish or not, we're taking this back because unanimously, you guys told me that the best flavored chicken to do is the garlic. So we're gonna take this back, what we got left, soak it in garlic, and take it to the lake, stack it up against the shad and the bluegill this weekend. So be looking forward to that. And uh, we're looking forward to hopefully us catching a fish, fish here in a second. Yeah, it's officially been about 30 minutes and I have not seen a bite happen at all. I'm going to give it about 15 more minutes. If we don't get a bite in 15 more minutes, I'm going to reposition all the poles and try to get closer to the bank on the other side. Maybe try one shallow. Just reposition them and see if I can find these fish, if there are even still some in here. Um, that's the plan anyway. 15 more minutes. It's like one of those days. It's looks it's really nice out it feels great out but it's just one of those days where you got this jacket on it's a little bit too warm for the jacket you start getting a little hot take the jacket off you start to freeze your hind end off so it's one of those days but 15 more minutes we'll move the poles all right guys I'm gonna show you something real quick I don't know you guys might be able to see this right about right at the end of my finger there's a jug there and right there's a jug they throw jugs in here and they check them all the time for these catfish. Hopefully there's still some catfish in here. Hopefully they haven't got them all out. This place is stacked with bass. Hardly gets fished at all for bass. But for the catfish, unfortunately, they go all out on them. Keep going. Alright guys, so this pole right here, you can see how the line's kind of loose on it. This one right here has tightened up, and that's all it done. It didn't even move the pole, it just tightened up. It's been like this for about three or four minutes, and I don't see it moving at all. But that could be a bad thing, because if that's what I think it is doing that, then that's probably a turtle just picked it up and it's holding on to it. Um, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully it is a fish, and it will take off with it here in a second. All right, so we've hit the 45 minute mark. I'm gonna re-throw these poles out, reposition them, and see if we can come up with something. In the next 45 minutes, if we don't get nothing, we'll have 30 minutes left, and uh, we're just gonna have to try something different. So hopefully we get something this time we position the poles.
All right, guys, so I got all the poles reeled in. We did not catch nothing. I missed one on the pole float. It took off, and I couldn't catch up to it in time. That was about the only action I had. Um, like I said, there's not very many catfish in here, I don't think. There's probably more turtles than anything. It could have been a turtle. Um, but that means I'm going into the weekend using this chicken without confidence, even though when we get to the lake, there's going to be much, much more catfish there to get a good chance at catching one. Um, so who knows? I don't know what to say as of right now if this is going to do good up against the cut bait, but we'll see. Uh, maybe the garlic scent added to this will help it out a lot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back, get some garlic scent, soak this stuff in that garlic all the rest of the couple days till the weekend, and that way it'll be really good marinated. Um, and hopefully catch something at the lake with it. Who knows? It might slay them at the lake. We'll have to see. So, see you guys at the lake.